This is day three of the S10 build. Just a recap of what's happened so far. The engine came out. Yesterday was actually Christmas, so I didn't get as much done as I wanted, but some things happened. First off, I took the frame and I took off all the suspension that was there, um, upper lower control arm springs and all that. And it actually had um, two inch lowering springs from Belltech on it, which was kind of a shocker. But anyway, um, not using any of that stuff, but I took the frame, I used the power washer and blasted it off a couple of days ago. Yesterday I used like a wire wheel and a drill and just kind of get some of the scale off of the rust. It wasn't super bad, but it's definitely there. And then I painted it and I'm using this, um, you can see Rust-Oleum. It's supposed to be black, but that looks gray. You can tell I missed some spots. I'll probably have to go back over some of the areas. See a few there. It's hard to see this stuff because you think you got it and you don't. So, but anyway, I'll go back over some, some spots, but it don't look that bad. It makes this hammer tone finish. Looks okay. You see part of the paintbrush is in it. Anyway, these holes here and here, what they're for is they're access holes to the, your engine mount because there's a four cylinder mount that sits on here. It looks like that. Anyway, this side has no access holes. So when you go to try taking it off, there's no way. So what I did, this is a two inch hole saw I just cut through and used that one. On this side, which is the driver's side, this notch right here is actually on some of the older models where the fuel lines went through. The uh, newer ones, they rode up on the back of the engine to the transmission and over. So maybe they had some kind of issue, I don't know. But I still need to hole saw here because even though I can use this slot, I can get the top one, but I couldn't get the bottom. And regardless, I still need to get to these holes here for the new mounts. So anyway, you make a hole there. Um, next thing, I'm trying to paint the firewall today. That's the goal. But I had to take off some of the wiring. So all the wiring that I had marked where that was connected to the engine, like through like the ECM or something, it typically came from this bundle here and the ECM was actually over here. And so I cut those wires off, pulled that through. But I'm going to make a block off plate for this today. This one right here, I still need to get rid of, but this one was for the air conditioning. This right here is actually a throttle cable, so I just got to take that off. I pulled out the um, slave cylinder or whatever this is for the clutch pedal and its mount. And then all the wires, because there are some that come from the ECM that connect over to the fuse blocks. Um, I'm 90% sure they'll have no use, but on all those that are like that, I double wrapped them around then I use some heat shrink to go around them. In case they will be needed. Now there is some wires that ends up being used for sure. This big red one is actually the one that attaches to the alternator. Um, so that feeds the power to the harness. This pink one, which I had, or purple, I should say, is what I had. This one actually goes for the starter. So that's the starter switch right there. And then there's just, of course, the black that's the ground. The other one, which is kind of important to me, is this one right here, this harness here. And that goes to the windshield wipers, which I do plan to reuse. There's some that come off your brakes here for your, uh, which I've already taken off the ABS system. This whole thing would get pulled off and that's why these brakes are still dangling. The only reason why I haven't done taking this off yet is because if you know anything about brake fluid, it like eats paint like no other. So I'm gonna leave it all attached so I really absolutely have to take it off. And then I'll probably have it hanging. But I do plan to change that. All right, today's plan is to paint this firewall, uh, mark off my holes, put sheets there for that, and then uh, also to uh, finish pulling the interior. The interior looks like crap right now, I'll show you. But, I mean, it's, that stash is a disaster. So somehow I've got to fix that. There's a lot of splice wires and stuff that I've got to trace out. But my plan today is to get all this stuff out of the interior so I can put the bar in, or at least place it. And so paint this, put the bar in, and maybe set the engine in for test fitting. I mean, that's the plans for today. Also, we do plan to do this. Last time I did this, this is a knot just pinned here. I'm gonna bend it back, because I had to last time because it kept hitting the engine. So there's a little sidebar for you. That's it. This is day four of the S10 build. I'll recap what happened yesterday. Yesterday I painted the firewall. Um, I plugged up this spot here. This is where the heater went. This is actually a little bit thicker metal than what you probably need, but I planned them out like the coil 
and some other stuff to this so I wanted it thick. This one's a thinner sheet, hence the rivets aren't as big. These are steel, which by the way are son of a gun to break with the rivet gun. Um, but anyway, that's that. There's another hole that got plugged up here. This is where the air conditioner harness went through. Um, that one's done. And then there's another hole here, if you can tell. And it looks like I'm gonna have to touch up some of this paint, which I'll get to today. But anyway, that's where the um, um, the clutch pedal assembly went through, or the rod anyway, for the slave cylinder or whatever. That was there. So that got done. Um, I also put on these motor mounts. They're just loosely on. Now, if you notice, I added this bolt here and here. There was, the frame has all these bolts, okay? So this one I put in anyway because I figured better, better alignment. As a note, you see this tab should be at the bottom because the mount will actually sit on it. So make sure you don't put it up, otherwise you have a hard time getting the engine in. So that's how you can kind of tell left or right because they aren't marked. By the way, they're just loosely on because I'm gonna set the engine in and get them where I want before I tighten them down fully. Um, kit number is, I think it's 9906 or something. I'll try to put a picture up here where I put all this together. That's another note, in case you wondered how do you ever get to these bolt holes. Turns out, if you look underneath, you can, there, there there's one, which barely, because it's kind of dark. But what happens is if you take off the lower control arm, you can see them up in there. Yeah, there they are. So I'm not painting inside the frame. Not that ambitious. The other thing I needed to get done yesterday was I pulled out the interior. Um, I left the dash because I'm going to refurb that or finish it or something. Put out the interior as far as that goes. Today I got the, the main hoop with a cage in here so I can figure out where to put the bars and stuff. But that'll be... Maybe we'll get the hoop in today, or at least tacked in. And then hopefully maybe I'll test fit the engine a few times and go from there. That's today's task.